Hi, I'm Black Pry and I cover a variety of topics. You never know what I'm going to talk about. Some of the topics are what people recommend I discuss and sometimes they're just my own little thing. Um, today is my own little thing because um, I was at work and I came across this article that said they're going to ban um, any kind of hugging and kissing in the workplace. Now you know like some people they kiss somebody on both cheeks or they hug them when they meet them. Apparently Total Jobs which is an employment company did research and said 76% of people do not like to be kissed or touched or hugged and they said sometimes when somebody goes to kiss them on the cheek and they miss and they kiss them on the lips and they feel really uncomfortable sometimes when somebody goes to hug them they don't know how to withdraw and I mean technically you should be able to manage that you should be able to say to somebody if you see them ready to lunge at you to hold back and say you know I prefer you don't do that but I think like I said I'm always saying English England or the Brits are a polite culture and they don't like to, um, they don't like to, um, not, not, they don't like to say no, but I guess they feel kind of as though they're going to insult somebody if they, if they're not reciprocal. So, um, I remember before I went to America, because I, I, I often say I lived in America for about 11 years, but before I went to America, you know, I would never kiss my mum. I might peck her on the cheek or, you know, uh, there wouldn't be this demonstrative hug. You know, it was very kind of frigid, actually. And that's how we kind of grew up. I grew up, like I said, with a white person and an Anglo-Asian person. There was no intimacy there. So I grew up in a very kind of a cold um, and reserved and, you know, the British stiff upper lip kind of environment. When I went to America, though, you know, there was so much more tact and demonstrative and so after 11 years I came back and I brought that with me so I started hugging my mum and I could feel her tense up and I would do the same with my daughters and I could feel them tense up well one of them tensed up and you know I re and but I just thought oh well they're not used to it but what I'm re what I'm realizing now after reading this article is that you know, I was actually forcing my new culture, so to speak, on my family. And I think that's what's happened in the workplace. I think what's happened is people who have traveled, they've actually brought cultures into the workplace and they're almost forcing it on on those who haven't traveled and who feel uncomfortable with that closeness and intimacy. Because for 76% of people to say they want no touch at all, they just want um, the polite hello, contactless hello, they call it. They don't want any, they don't even want to shake hands. Now that made led me in my little mind to think, hmm, most people who demonstrate that touchy feely thing are people who have traveled or they're foreigners and is it something about that not wanting to be in close proximity because it must be uncomfortable for people who don't feel comfortable with foreigners to have a foreigner come up and hug them or go to kiss them on both cheeks and they're like mm, and run to the bathroom afterwards and wash their face or whatever it is they do so I'm not saying that's all people, but you definitely have uh, people who do not feel comfortable with, like I said, they don't even want to shake your hand. So what does that tell you? Now, I know for me, I'm quite selective. I'm not going to, in a work situation, if somebody was off for like on maternity leave and we had a reasonable rapport before they left and they came back, I am you know i am likely to hug them i remember one of the girls saying aren't you going to give me a goodbye hug before i go on maternity leave and yeah i would it wouldn't be a full-blown hug but you know i'd give her a kind of a half-hearted hug and because you're not quite sure where the boundaries are and then you'll find some people they don't want that you know so you have to know who you are dealing with and what kind of person they are you have to be selective with your demonstr with your how you demonstrate your affection or you know how your your salutation is good morning enough 
I said um, bon appetit to somebody at work lunchtime, they just totally ignored me. <laughs> she probably didn't want me to talk to her at all. I mean, the thing is, you just don't know what's going on in people's heads. We, you know, we tolerate situations and we don't know what that people are tolerating there. And it never even occurred to me before today that when I was imposing my hugs on my family, that they felt uncomfortable about it because I was thinking about me. I was thinking, oh, yeah, you know, I'm loving, I'm caring, I'm demonstrative. You know, so I was assuming it's a loving thing to do, forgetting that the culture isn't there yet. So it's like when the French, you know, they start, and because I was in an international organisation in the UN, you know, I had all the different cultures, you know, the kissing on both cheeks, you know, by French speaking countries, you know, it, it was it was totally diverse. So I came back with all of those. And yeah, now, you know, my whole family is very, very tactile and I'm probably instrumental in that. And it's a nice, it's nice to get a nice warm hug from my daughters or from my mum. It's really, it's really, really comforting. And But in the workplace, I understand it's not really appropriate. These people are people you work with. And I guess if you work them for years and years, and or if there's a bereavement, or if they need some kind of support, you can say, oh, do you need a hug? And you can ask their permission. But by and large, I think it's very, very difficult. And like I said, it is different cultures that have been brought into into the UK that has um, made these changes and called for something like this, a complete ban of contact in the workplace. It hasn't been passed, but if you look up total jobs, um, research on, um, I think they called it, what did they call it? Uh, uh, what do they call it? Uh, I don't know what they called it now. It was something to do with the war, what they use in the war, but I can't remember what it is now. What was it? That's going to bug me now. But yeah, I'm not going to let it bug me. But yeah, we're all adults. We should be able to gauge our responses. We should be able to um, interact with people in an appropriate way. Shouldn't force our culture or, you know, how we are feeling on someone else just because we like a hug it doesn't mean that everybody likes a hug just because we want to kiss on both cheeks it doesn't mean everybody does and so yeah we have to be a bit more sensitive and a bit more tuned in to people when you're approaching them look at them you see what their body language is like some people they do step back but if you're not aware you might ignore that so it is about kind of you know, tuning into people's needs and wants and how people are. And like I said, not everybody wants to touch somebody and not everybody wants to be touched by someone. And I just thought I'd throw that one out there and that's all for now. Bye-bye.